Rated M for Mature. Never shoot it again. Ah! should have known it was only a matter of time before they found us. It's the price we pay for openly recruiting. We'll have to step up our defenses. I don't suppose you have some good news for me. Damn. Well, what do you know? A woman? Trapped in there? That doesn't make any sense. Who is she? More importantly, where is she? And so you delivered her to them. They what? And you didn't stop them? You didn't secure the scroll? I suppose you're lucky you're not dead. Or worse, one of them. By the Divines. This couldn't get much worse. This is more than you and I can handle. When did I say that? We just need... We need help. If they're bold enough to attack us here, then this may be bigger than I thought. I have good men here. There are people I've met and worked with over the years. We need their skills, their talents, if we're going to survive this. If you can find them, we might have a chance. Right to the point, aren't you? I like that. Not like those fools in the Order. We should keep it small. Too many people and we'll draw unwanted attention to ourselves. I think we'll want Serene Gerard. Breton girl, whip smart and good with tinkering. Fascination with the Dwemer. Weapons in particular. Last I knew, she was out of the reach. Convinced she was about to find the biggest dwarf in ruins yet. Might need a little convincing, but she should. You'll also want to find Gunmar. Big brute of a Nord. Hates vampires almost as much as I do. Got it into his head years back that his experience with animals would help. Trolls in particular, from what I hear. Last I knew, he was out scouring Skyrim for more beasts to save. Bring the two of them back here, and we can get started on coming up with a plan. Stay alert.
There you are. Give me a hand with this door, would you? Thanks again for all your help. Well, that's the second one. We're halfway there. I'll keep looking. See you soon. I'm on a pilgrimage to the Shrine of Azura, the Goddess of Twilight, if you'll excuse me.
you there! Hold fast! I've tracked this damned bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Ethron needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Vampires? That... well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. By the eight. All right, look. I'll consider it. I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what Isran expects of me. Speak if you have aught to say worth the listening. I don't know how well I'd have managed by myself. You have my thanks. You've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Isran wants. He's still at that fort near Stendar's beacon, I assume. Of course he did. He's been working on that place for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well, I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. I haven't seen a sack full of dwarven gyros lying around, have you? I swear I left it right here. Do you think mud crabs might have taken it? I saw one the other day. Wouldn't be surprised if it followed me here. But just look around, will you? He's wrong. Wants me? No, you must be mistaken. Exceedingly clear the last time we spoke that he had no interest in my help. I find it hard to believe he's changed his mind. He said some very hurtful things to me before I left. Anyway, I'm quite happy in my current pursuits. So if you'll excuse me. Vampires? Really? Oh, and I suppose now he remembers that I proposed no less than three different scenarios that involved vampires overrunning the population. Well, what are they up to? I... well, that's actually something I never would have anticipated. Interesting. I'm not sure what they would do with one, but in this case, Sran is probably correct in thinking it isn't good. All right. If nothing else, I suppose it wouldn't hurt to learn more about what's going on so I can better defend myself. But I'm not just going to abandon what I've been working on here. It's too useful. I need at least one intact dwarven gyro. So either I need to find the satchel those mud crabs stole, or I need another gyro from some place. You wouldn't happen to have one, would you? Thank you. It's not much, but this will help a great deal with some things I've been researching. Now, where is it Isran expects me to go? Ah, been working more on his secret hideout, has he? 
and it'll be interesting to see how much progress he's made. I'll finish up here and head in that direction as soon as I can. See you there. You've got us all here. Now what do you want? Hold it right there! What are you doing? Making sure you're not vampires. Can't be too careful. So welcome to Fort Dawnguard. I'm sure you've heard a bit of what we're up against. Powerful vampires, unlike anything we've seen before. And they have an Elder Scroll. If anyone is going to stand in their way, it's going to be us. This is all well and good, but do we actually know anything about what they're doing? What do we do now? We'll get to that. For now, get acquainted with the space. Soreen, you'll find room to start your tinkering on that crossbow design you've been working on. Gunmar, there's an area large enough for you to pen up some trolls. Get them armored up and ready for use. In the meantime, we're going to get to the bottom of why a vampire showed up here looking for you. Let's go have a little chat with you, shall we? So let's hear it. You probably weren't expecting to see me again. I'd rather not be here either, but I needed to talk to you. It's important, so please just listen before your friend here loses his patience. It's... Well, it's about me and the Elder Scroll that was buried with me. The reason I was down there and why I had the Elder Scroll... It all comes back to my father. I'm guessing you figured this part out already, but my father's not exactly a good person, even by vampire standards. He wasn't always like that, though. There was... a turn. He stumbled onto this obscure prophecy and just kind of lost himself in it. It's pointless and vague, like all prophecies. The part he latched onto said that vampires would no longer need to fear the sun. That's what he's after. He wants to control the sun. Have vampires control the world. Anyway, my mother and I didn't feel like inviting a war with all of Tamriel, so we tried to stop him. That's why I was sealed away with a scroll. I'm sorry. I had heard there were vampire hunters here. I thought they might want to know about a vampire plot to enslave the rest of the world. Was I wrong? That was the plan, yes. Assuming the rest of them can trust a vampire. Come on, I'll need you to help convince them. All right, you've heard what it has to say. Now tell me, is there any reason I shouldn't kill this blood-sucking fiend right now? Set my hatred aside. 
Not a chance. It's what keeps me strong. You better know what you're doing. It can stay for now. But if it so much as lays a finger on anyone here, I'll hold you responsible. Got it? You hear me? Don't feel like a guest, because you're not. You're a resource. You're an asset. In the meantime, don't make me regret my sudden outburst of tolerance and generosity. Because if you do, your friend here is going to pay for it. Thank you for your kindness. I'll remember it the next time I'm feeling hungry. So, in case you didn't notice the giant thing on my back, I have the Elder Scroll with me. Whatever it says, it will have something that can help us stop my father. But, of course, neither of us can read it. Well, the Moth Priests are the only ones I've heard of who can do it. They spend years preparing before they start reading, though. Not that it helps us anyway, because they're all half a continent away. In Cyrodiil. Some Imperial scholar arrived in Skyrim a few days ago. I was staking out the road when I saw him pass by. Maybe that's your Moth Priest. Do you know where he's staying now? No, and I'm not going to waste men looking. We're fighting a war against your kind, and I intend to win it. You want to find him? Try talking to anyone who'd meet a traveler. Innkeepers and carriage drivers in the big cities, maybe. But you're on your own. Any idea how you're going to find a moth priest? Skyrim's a pretty big place. Well, back before I... You know, the College of Winterhold was the first place I'd think to go for any kind of magic or historical thing. The wizards know about all kinds of things that people probably shouldn't know about. Actually, now that I think of it, I'm going to come along with you. I've been really wanting to get out and explore a bit. one day. I knew. And no one believed. Oblivion, do you need a moth priest for? Fine, fine. No need to get your britches in a twist. The obvious answer is to go to the Imperial City. The moth priests make their home in the White Gold Tower. Sometimes they go out looking for Elder Scrolls. Lucky for you, there's a moth priest in Skyrim right now, doing just that. He stopped in to do some research in the library, then left for Dragon Bridge. If you hurry, you might catch him there.
Seen some mean-spirited folk. A moth priest? I'm sorry, but I don't know anything about that. Try asking one of the guards. Good day. They say Helgen got hit by a dragon. If one of those horrors comes here, we'll be ready.
that? That wasn't me. You were fighting. I could thank the Divines for you. I'm quite all right, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. What can I do for you? Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me, an image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the night's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest.
That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father, and that's saying something. Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? I don't think so. She said she wanted to stay awake in case the situation was resolved. It had to be one of us, and, well... She's so much more powerful than I am. It just made sense for her to be out here. Anything else? Wait. That almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help her tend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too... peaceful. Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is... I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. True, but I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move.
made it to the courtyard. Oh no. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks... Well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot in the centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after eating meals. It was good things. Very clever, Mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they'd run right under the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting closer. Let's go. We're getting close. Sure of it.
We're getting close. I'm sure of it. We're getting close. I'm sure of it. This place. I knew she was deep into necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I had no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. And what's this thing? I'm not sure about this circle, but it's obviously something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. I remember she used to keep a small journal. See if you can dig it up. luck yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems, that the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts... Ah, oh, damn it. We're also going to need a sample of her blood, which, if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. Hmm. Not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. Having trouble finding those ingredients? I had no idea her laboratory even existed. She had an alchemy set up in her drawing room. But nothing that even comes close to what's here. 
Looking at the equipment and materials, it looks like she was trying to advance her necromancy. I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of a waste of time for a vampire. The Soul Cairn is a tiny sliver of oblivion, the realm of the Daedra. It's ruled by unseen beings known as the Ideal Masters. Honestly, I don't know. Necromancers are always interested in souls, though, so that probably has some kind of interest. Nobody really knows. As far as I've heard, no one's seen them and returned to Tamriel to tell about it. I've read stories. Stories about fools that manage to... communicate with them. You give the Ideal Masters souls, they give you powers to summon the undead. It's all very businesslike. Because most of the stories end with the Ideal Masters duping the Necromancers, who end up dead or wishing they were dead. They shouldn't be that hard to find. Shelves, tables, they should be... Fine. She wouldn't have hidden them. Having trouble with ingredients? Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. Of course. What is it? I've been asking myself the same thing since we came back to the castle. She was so sure of what we did to my father. I couldn't help but go along with her. I never thought of the cost. Possibly. I guess even a vampire mother is still a mother. She worried about me. About all of us. But she wanted to get me as far away from my father as possible before he really went over the edge. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. I just didn't expect anyone to care how I felt about her. Thank you. Are we ready then? All right. Here goes. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is... Well, hungry, for lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Not your first choice, I guess? Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the Ideal Masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the Soul Cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. I know that better than anybody. Have you made up your mind? Are you sure? I'm willing to do it, but you need to think it through. You'll remain mortal. But you'll find yourself weakened within the Soul Cairn. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust me. I'd never do anything that could hurt you. Thank you. Let's not waste any more time then. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still.
go. My mother must be waiting on the other side of that thing. 